Before we start with our etch effect, I'd just like to say that I've downloaded this picture from a superb website called unsplash.com. The picture is by Stephen Lustig. I will put a link down below so you can download it and follow along with the video. Right, before we go on to produce our etch effect, we first of all have to produce a sketch effect. So my favourite method of producing that sketch effect is to come over to the Layers panel. We're going to duplicate our background layer. We're going to use Command j or control j that's command j control j there it is we have now got layer one but we're going to convert layer one to a black and white we're now going to go to enhance adjust color stay thank you remove color there's our black and white we're now going to duplicate our layer one so we're going to use command j control j that's command j control j there it is layer one copy we're now going to convert this into a negative. In other words, we're going to invert it. To do that, we're going to go to Filter, Adjustment, Invert. And there is our negative of our black and white. But we're not going to stop there, because now we're going to go to the blend modes. We're going to change the blend mode to Color Dodge. And you're thinking, we've now got ourselves a piece of white paper. Well, it's on this white paper. We're going to get ourselves a sketch effect by coming to Filter, Other, we're going to go down to minimum, watch what happens, pow, there's the sketch effect. Now this is using a radius of four. It's always best for a sketch effect to use the lower radiuses. The more you take it up, the more you can see you begin to get a little bit of a strange effect. It can actually look quite good, I suppose, but not for this image for our sketch effect. We need to use numbers which are relatively low, perhaps six seven there i like the way that's looking now when you click ok be prepared it will darken down as we can see there it is there but we can't use this layer as it stands that's the way it looks so what we have to do is merge this layer down into layer one so we're going to go to layer we're going to come down to merge down command e or control e is the shortcut for that Next, we're going to pick up the wand tool because we're now going to select all of the white pixels. Now, under tool options, there's the wand tool. I've got add to selection. I've also got the tolerance, which the default is 32. So make sure your default for the uh, selection is 32 for the tolerance, should I say. Click down on a large area of white. And there it is. We have now made a selection of white pixels. All we have to do now is go around and select the rest. But there is a shortcut for doing that. We're going to go to select. We're now going to tell elements to select all the similar pixels to the ones we've already selected. In other words, the white. And as soon as we click on that, there it is. We have now got a large nest of ants going around. Right. Pressing delete on the keyboard. We're now going to go to select. We're now going to go down to deselect. And you're thinking that is our sketch effect. Well, if we just switch off the background layer, that's the way it looks. Pretty good or what? Right, let's pick up the eraser tool. Must be honest, I really do like this effect. Just going to come over these little bits and pieces here. Something like that will do nicely. Just quickly over like that. And there it is. Right, let's just switch on the background layer. We're going to pick up the move tool because now we're going to go to the other side. The other side is of course our copper background coming to our copper background dragging it over releasing my mouse in it goes and there it is just a little bit on the big side so we're going to go up to image we're going to go to transform free transform now command t control t of course is a shortcut i'm going to bring my cursor inside that framework i'm going to right click we're going to click on scale now, as we've seen, when we produce the copper background, scale is going to reduce it down. It's going to keep it all in the right proportions, bringing it into this area here. Double clicking inside the frame or clicking on the little green tick in the bottom right hand corner will apply the transform. And there it is. Right. I can still see some little bits and pieces I missed. So let's just remove those with the eraser tool coming over this area here and just round there. And that looks better right next oh i'm going to press h on the keyboard to give me back the hand tool before i click on something else and erase that next we're now going to put this into the copper background so let's go down to styles we're now going to come to the drop down menu here let's come up to bevels now with bevels let's take a look at this one here that looks pretty good 
I'm going to press, because I've got the hand tool, I just need to press command or control. That gives me the zoom in in tool and we can zoom in to this area here. Let's just lift it up a little bit like the way that's looking. You can also come to the little gear cog here. This will allow us just to edit it. The angle of lighting is 90 degrees. There it is on bevel. We're at 21 pixels. We are up. I want to take it down into the copper effect. So I'm going to click on down and I'm not sure this is actually going to give us the look that I'm after. So I'm going to click cancel. Let's come out of that. Worth trying some of the others and Okay, not a lot happening there. That looks better, like the way that looks. Yeah, that's a good one there. Now with this, let's come back up to the little gear cog. First things first, clicking on down to take it into the metal itself. Now coming to the size here, I'm going to reduce the size. And as we start to reduce the size there, one pixel, let's take it up a little bit, five, six, just a touch more, I think, seven like the way that's working so let's click on OK. Next I'm going to pick up the eraser tool because I've just noticed I've got a few more little bits and pieces there. Right okay let's go back to the hand tool. They escaped me. Clicking on the layers taking a look that looks pretty good like that. I'm just going to reduce the opacity down a touch or two just to take it more into the metal. Something else you might like to try is the blend modes. If we come to the blend modes, the ones to use, it's worth trying soft lights, overlay or hard lights. So I'm going to click on soft lights. You can see it tends to disappear. The darker features have gone. Let's have a look at overlay. Much the same as soft lights. Let's take a look at hard lights. That's better. We can see some information there in the eyes and the moustache and the area around here. But we can take this a stage further again. I must be honest, I do like the effect it's having around there. So I'm going to take it a stage further by clicking on the adjustment layer. We're going to use an adjustment layer of levels. Now with this, you need to come down to the bottom left hand corner. We've got a little square with that uh, angled arrow. Clicking on this is going to clip it to layer two, our etched effect. If you don't clip it, it's going to affect the whole image. In other words, it's going to come down to the copper background and the wood background as well. Right, coming to the levels, we're going to come to the center slider. I'm going to move this across to the right hand side. Moving it to the right is going to introduce more of the darker pixels. And as you can see, it's working. We've got more darker pixels going in there. That looks pretty good like that. We're going to click on the little cross that's going to remove it. Going to switch this off and on because as I mentioned, I like what it's doing on the area here for the etch effect. I think it's just a little bit too bright though in some areas. So let's pick up the brush tool. Let's come down to tool options. I'm going to drop the opacity down to, let's take it down to 50%. Right, now we've got 50%. What I'm going to do is just zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to use spacebar. Now I'm going to press alter option, just zoom out to this area here. I'm going to get myself a much bigger brush. So I'm going to use the right hand square bracket. Let's take that up. I'm just going to go over that area like this, just to take it back a touch like that there. Dropping it down in size. Let's just go over that cheek a little bit and just over that cheek there. Great stuff like the way this is looking using spacebar. Now command or control to pop into the image. And there it is. You can see what we've done on the mask. If I just switch this off and on, you can see the difference that's making entirely up to you when you do that uh, step. It will depend on the image you're working with, but there it is. Let's zoom out to fit on screen. So I'm going to use command zero, control zero. Looking around the image, not too keen on the hard edge we've got on the bottom nor to the top. So we're going to pick up the gradient tool or we'll make sure you're working on the right layer. So I'm going to click on layer two, which of course is our etch effect. We're going to put in a layer mask. So in goes a layer mask. Next, coming down to tool options, just checking out. Yes, I have still got my copper gradient. So we need to change this to this one here, which is the black through to transparent. So make sure you've got the black through to transparent. Click OK to that. 
Coming into the image, I'm going to press and hold down shift on the keyboard. I'm going to click down, I'm going to lift it up, and you can see the way we can now just fade that in. That looks better. Still holding down shift, coming to the side, just going to fade that in a little, and coming to this side, just going to fade that in. That looks good there. Coming in, just fade in his hat and his brim in, just perhaps a little bit more there. Great stuff. That looks better. Let's pop that down out of the way. And there it is. There is our finished etched image. I'm going to right click. We're going to change the background color to black. That looks better. I'm going to press tab on the keyboard. Tab on the keyboard is going to remove all the panels. Command zero, control zero to go to fit on screen. There is our etched effect on a copper background. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget, click on the little bell icon as well. That will give you notifications on all the new videos as they become available. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.